On July 12th, the Miller Center announced the appointment of Mark Short to a highly esteemed position of senior fellow. Before this, Short served as the former director of legislative and intergovernmental affairs for the Trump administration. Appointing former White House members to the Miller Center is not unusual. The reaction to Short's appointment, however, was extreme. We called Bill Anthalis, director and CEO of the Miller Center, to get the reasons behind his decision. This kind of question does come up in high-level appointments like this. If you go down the road of evaluating the impact of legitimate policy disputes, then people who feel aggrieved by policies from the Obama era or the Bush era or the Clinton era will then also be subject to the same review. And then we would be establishing political litmus tests for policy practitioners. What kind of open engagement and debate do you see when Short gets to UVA? Seminars, classroom sessions, and also public sessions. They will range from discussing how to study a Trump presidency to how to think about the role of Congress and the executive branch and political polarization in America today. I am sure that several faculty members will raise a range of different issues, and I look forward to hearing those conversations and learning from them. And faculty members did raise their concerns. Two history professors, William Hitchcock and Melvin Leffler, resigned from their positions at the Miller Center. I resigned because I did not think that Mark Short merited an appointment uh, at the Miller Center as a senior fellow. I have no objection. My colleague, Will Hitchcock, has no objection to Mark Short coming to the Miller Center, sharing his views with us at the Miller Center. Uh, if we can learn from Mark Short, we should learn from Mark Short. My objection is the designation of Mark Short as a distinguished fellow at the Miller Center. Do you think that that should preclude anyone at any time from the Trump administration serving at the Miller Center? Definitely not. There are people from the Trump administration who I would welcome at the Miller Center. Uh, for example, General McMaster, who is the National Security Advisor. However, I would want someone to come who has not participated in an assault on the basic principles that I hold dear. The Miller Center prides itself on civility, a quest for truth and objectivity, a genuine pursuit of solutions to pressing national problems in a nonpartisan way. It is illustrative of Mark Short's predilections and commitments that at the same time that he's assuming this position at an explicitly nonpartisan center, he has accepted employment at a political corporate lobbying firm in Washington, D.C. How can he be trying to solve major problems on a nonpartisan basis when his real job is with a major lobbying firm that is linked to partisan groups and corporate groups. What we are saying in this letter of resignation is wake up colleagues at the University of Virginia, wake up students. The Trump administration poses a fundamental threat to basic values, and that is what I object to. Objections spread throughout faculty, students, and community members alike. Over 3,000 people signed a petition demanding that the Miller Center revoke Short's appointment. We met with one of the student protesters. Why did you sign this petition? I just don't think that uh, hiring Mark Short is aligned with the values of the university, and I kind of think that it normalizes uh, this administration, in a, and I don't think this administration should be normalized. Uh, but would you say that Mark Shorts is a case of guilt by association? I think for me it's more about that than his personal ideology or whether or not he's a good person. He had power in the administration, and I think that he had options. He didn't have to stay. He didn't have to continue to work for 
these legislative actions, um, it's just concerning that um, they would hire Mark Short without any input from the student community. However, some see the petition as the wrong way to react. We reached out to former president of the college Republicans, Adam Kimmelman, for his thoughts. You know, Mr. Short gets to grounds as senior fellow minister, going and having conversation with him, debates with him, um, and kind of a back and forth civil dialogue, which is what the Miller Center is there to promote, probably do a better way of doing it. I just think that the way in which they've done it is threatening to conservative students, threatening to conservative professors, um, and that's already a problem that we've seen in kind of greater academia as a whole and at UVA. Mark Short is now a senior fellow at the Miller Center of the University of Virginia.